Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Drentalian, and welcome back to Grim Tales Echo of the Past. This is Act 7. When we last left off, we had finished the main game. And now we're going to the bonus chapter. I'm going to my troops rehearsal, Anastasia. We're called Quartz. You should come see us. My son died because of this rabble, Richard. Make them pay for it with their spears of life. Yes, ma'am. Looks like I arrived just in time. Apparently, the performance of my sister, Alexandra, is postponed. Something's wrong here. Someone died? And now it was Richard, young Richard. He's already cursed. But he looks too young for... Wait a minute. We're Anastasia. So this is possibly when we meet her husband. I need some fabric to wrap the grate tightly. The plaster in here is done carelessly. It's as if someone was trying to hide some items, but I should be able to scrape this quite easily. The birdhouse is empty. I'm sure someone used to live here. The sign is placed very high, probably so that curious people like me cannot reach it. I need something to bring it down. And I think that woman might have been Lars's mother. Looks like this is where the theater correspondence arrives, but the items that open the mailbox are missing. No. If the key falls on the floor on the other side of the door, I won't get it. Sailcloth. Oh, the mechanical bird. A scraper. Ah. So that's who Lady Eleanor was with. It's very practical to hire a magician to work. However, she doesn't seem to have the best intentions. Dear Eleanor, the Evergreen School of Magic has assigned our best graduate, Richard Gray, as your magical assistant. Evergreen Administration. Dusty. Now I just need an L. No? What a large decorative shell, but its most precious piece is missing. Are you sure this won't work? No. I mean, you're what I'm pu pushing out the key with. No. Oh! Oh! That's one way to do it. Oh, I gotta keep that. Nice. The canvas is blank. I can depict whatever my heart desires. I wonder, do they remember Lars? I don't see any reason they would, and now I think about it, because... He never got corrupted by magic. The theater owner seems to keep her son on a short lease, but Lars just wants to be with his friends and do what he loves. 
Mom, what I really want is to spend time performing with my friends. I hope you'll let me someday. Mm. She looks like a museum director. Maybe an ancestor? Her mother, maybe? Someone's very careless with the suit, even the sleeve is missing. It's strange that Eleanor still hasn't provided her son's body. Why does she keep him with her? Our funeral home is sorry for your loss. Your son would have had a great future. However, it's been some time since his death and we haven't heard from you. Please bring your son's remains to us at your earliest convenience. I won't give my son to anyone. So, Lars passed away. That's why when it showed the picture of all the theater troupe, his was a black silhouette. Because he's no longer part of the troupe because he passed away. Though it's a shame, turned his life around and his life ended unfortunately. Well, at least he was hopefully happier. Than he was originally. Ah, so there's none in this area. I recognize that costume. Alexandra, is she alright? No, it's not Alexandra, it's her friend Claire, court troop member, wearing Alexandra's costume. Where is my sister? Claire is unconscious, I must bring her to her senses. Not to mention, un uh, unshackle her. Because that really can't be good for her. The nails are firmly driven into the seat cover. I need something to remove them. Dressing room. Essential oil. Okay, so it's just that one. And let's give you your pool. Nah, pearl. Okay, that's a neat trick. And I know exactly where that half ring goes. A beaner and a coin. Ah. The makeshift screwdriver of all hogs. Why was a signboard in here? What's this? It looks like a note from the magician she hired Richard. Is he really somehow connected with Lars's death? Madame, I'm not to blame for your son's death. I only shielded him from the troop, just as you asked. Now, because of you, my life depends on your son's. Richard Gray. It looks like a spell he cast backfired. So, some kind of shield to keep the rest of the troop away from him, but it seems to have resulted in his death. Maybe something happened and they couldn't get to him because of the shield? 
Because protecting him, shielding him from the troop does not mean shielding him from harm. But the way that was also worded makes me wonder if... Maybe she's forcibly tied Richard's and Lars's life forces together? That's why she hasn't given up Lars's body yet? An opener. Oh, maybe use this? Ah. Well, that's one way to get nails out. What is that doing in there? Seriously. Thank you for waking me. I'm not Alexandra. I'm just wearing her costume. Richard put it on me and pulled some sphere out of me. It left me feeling strangely empty inside. The theater owner, Eleanor, hired Richard to protect Lars, but it only made him miserable. He tried to break through the magician's magical sphere, but it killed him. Now they're trying to resurrect him. And unfortunately, that's dark magic. As Richard unfortunately cannot remember. And so there we go. So, yeah, backfired. It wasn't something happened to him, it was just he couldn't handle the, the, it and got desperate. I can barely feel my arms because of these shackles. Please get them off. Here, I managed to take this from Eleanor before they attacked. They must have removed the sphere to revive Claire of Emotions. Poor Claire, I need to help her. Okay. Here it is, the theater owner study, storing her secrets. Now I'll try to find out what's going on. This woman sees everything in the light of which she wants. It's already clear that Richard is not to blame, and she cannot understand this is only her fault. Richard killed my son. I only asked him to protect him from the gang of hooligans. He claims that Lars fought so hard against his magic barrier that the force of the barrier's resistance pushed him back, causing his death. Due to their pact... Richard can't refuse to resurrect him or he'll die himself. What a cruel agreement. How could Richard agree to this? Perhaps he had no choice, but now he is connected with a dead person. I am hiring Richard Gray as my assistant. He is committed to fulfilling my requirements, but his primary responsibility is to protect my son with his life and keep him out of the court troop. Richard and Lars will establish a magical pact, linking their thoughts and feelings. Eleanor and Richard. Brutal. Now I need a paintbrush. Will this work? Yep. And now I just need something solid to hammer that in. Easy peasy. Code and a thread. At the cost of other people's lives, she wants to resect her son. 
resurrect her son. This is so selfish and inhumane. I won't let this happen. I wanted so much to protect my son that I hired a magician to see and hear and feel everything my son did. Ugh, creepy. Lars had been hanging out with a group of worthless actors. I couldn't have him dancing about stage like about on stage like a clown. He's better than that. But now he's dead. Richard told me that the only way to revive Lars requires three spheres of life. So I'll take those spheres from those actors and get revenge for my son. Crazy lady. Like, we already knew that she did not approve of him being a p p puppeteer, but good grief. Let's see if this works. Yep. Ah, the hammer. I can fix this with it. A noisemaker. Now I just need a needle. Asking ye shall receive. I wish I could sew. I w once knew how. But I forgot. Okay, I got one. Oh! Thank you. Getting free should make me feel joyful, but I still feel nothing without the sphere Eleanor stole. She never liked our troop, but she really went crazy after Lars died. The others might be in danger too. Take this and go find them. Others from the troop are in danger. Rodney and my sister Alexandra. I won't let anything bad happen to them. But before we do that, this is going to have to be curtain call. But if you enjoyed the show, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload a new video. Until then, that's it for me. Bye-bye.